as y'all can see, this is my little light collection that I just started. I try to keep all the Jordans together. The sixes are these are like one of my favorite shoes. The color wears, of course, they they go they go great. I like I like loud color shoes, like reds. Just as a kid growing up, man, everybody wanted to be like Mike, so you gotta imagine how many Michael Jordan fans are out there and just grabbing, you know, try to get it, like your hands on any pair you can, no matter what they are, just because of Jordans. And I've been a big fan of MJ my whole life, and I'm still a fan, and I'm a fan of his shoes. And oh, you know, hopefully one day, uh, you know, I'm saying I could be wearing wearing them for for good. But like the collection that I like, how I try to get, I try to get shoes that you know that people rarely, you know, rarely rarely see. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like even with these, these are one of my favorite just because, you know, the yellow, the bright colors. You know, I try to I try to match them with some of my hats and stuff. Like, you know, these probably go good with a Pittsburgh Steelers hat or something. Oh, the twos. I love the original ones, man. You know what I'm saying? Like these are one of my favorites to even hoop in on top of, you know, just having to rock around. Then I keep my pads hidden. I don't like no look, I keep my pads hidden under my clothes so you know nobody can really they come in here, my brothers come in here and see the shoe. They don't they don't never look under here. But I got a couple space the space jam yeah, the space the space jams, you know what I'm saying? The original ones, you know, I just keep these hidden under here, the all whites. So, you know, most of my, all my favorite number shoes I hide underneath all my clothes. As you can see the the 12s are under here. These are one of my favorite shoes as well. Black and red, black and white, the blue. The grays, you know, the blue, the, uh, the navy blue ones, these are one of my favorites. <clears throat> and then you got the red and white ones. So, uh, I gotta got do the 14s. I did most of the 8s, the 9s. Uh, the 10s are one of my favorites too. The khaki color ones, man, these are like awesome with some nice khaki shorts, white tee. You, you can never go wrong with these. These bad boys are, are awesome. These are one of my favorite Jordans too. From, Back in the day, man, these are like one of the best hoop shoes too, to hoop in. I've never seen anybody have like have these ones. I think these are the girl ones. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I had to get them. You know what I'm saying? Like just in case you come <clears throat> with a nice little you know, button up, you know, that matches. Only got a little bit of that pink in there, that matches with some nice jeans. So like I try to I try to match my my shoes and my clothes together. Like this, I, I didn't know what I was gonna wear with these. No, I gotta have some orange pants like these, this color. You got the ones. These are like these are just classic because these are like the first shoe Jordan ever wore. You know what I'm saying? So you know you gotta have these, these in the archives, man. These will probably never be worn. I got my shoes from my man Isaiah, man. He created these shoes uh, in uh, his favorite cartoon. His favorite superhero is uh, Superman. And he's saying, uh, you know, for me being short, I'm one of his favorite players in the NBA, man, me and Dwight Howard. So he made these shoes from the little Superman, his dunk contest with the Kryptonite. He has, that's why he had the green. Uh, you know, Isaiah's fighting cancer. And he, you know, made these shoes in tribute of, of me and Dwight. And it was pretty fun, you know, going down and meeting him in Portland and spending some time with him and his mother. And I told him I always keep these shoes. I signed a pair that I wore and I gave them to him. He has, he has my shoe, I have his. So I told him forever these will always be in my, in my presence, in my, in my house, to the day I die. They won't be open, they'll be right here in this box. And I have a pair that I wear when I hoop in to remind me of him as well. So whenever you guys see me, maybe like in the street tournament or outside or just in a pickup game, you'll most likely see me wearing these. They're real comfortable and they're real flashy. I mean, you can wear these with, any color, brown, orange. I gotta wear these shoes with any color. You know what I'm saying? And that's to me, it's just it's pretty sweet. The snake, the snakeskin pants. A lot of people don't. They, these are hard to find. Original. That's when you know they're real, like originals, because the bottoms are kind of you know funky. <laughs> and that's and that's a good thing. That means they're original. These these are kind of hard to find. But you know these got to come out like like a red carpet event. Like you know if you're outside and you know it's it's, it's casual. You don't have to dress in a suit, but like. I'll wear this with a suit and just mess everybody up with a snakeskin tie or something. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. But uh, where do you track down most of your stuff, or where do you buy? Uh, I got I got a I got a guy. My, my name his name is Ernie Ernesto. He's from uh, L.A. and he does a great job of uh, finding like shoes. Like yo Nate, I found some shoes. You want them? I'm like you already know. Whatever they're Jordans, you don't even gotta ask. 
So just try to find, he found me my Yeezys. The Yeezys were hard to find. I got the first ones and I got a couple pair of the second ones. I hooped in one, people thought I was crazy. I'm like, they're only shoes. I hooped in, these are my hooping pair. I told people I'm gonna hoop in, a, I think one game, at least one game in the year, Yeezys. And, and, and try to be the first, one of the first guys to do it. Now that I said this, they probably gonna go out and try to Nobody's beat me, go beat, you now. beat me to it. <laughs>